Myla is a special needs cat. He is the one who has taken the initiative to comfort all the other animals that have come in. If you want to actually witness naughtiness, it is Chota Bean. Arthur, I think, uh, the Persian male, is the most lazy. We are a non-governmental organization that works for animal welfare. Our specific focus is aimed at animals with disabilities and special needs. There's something lack for the animal kingdom. So we felt let's do something more constructive for the animals. I've been associated with Park for the last three, four years. The reason being, even though I'm a medical doctor, I could help them to take proper, appropriate action whenever there is an emergency. And uh, it's not just the medicine, it is the passion and the compassion and the love for animals. And that starts healing the process. She was just one year old when I met Shona in the road. She was not able to walk even a few meters. She was crawling, literally crawling. I started contacting the animal rescue so many places. All were giving only one condition that if the cat is able to take care of its own needs, we will take care. Finally, Nivedita called me up one day. She was the first person who told me only if the cat is not able to take care of her own in the natural habitat, I'll take care. I never expected it to be so clean and full of greenery and um, I saw so many cats there, very well settled. They are uh, continuously observed through CCTV and there are so many helpers also. It was very safe for them. At the same time, it was not confined to one place. After a year, I went and met Shona. Nobody can make out she had gone through such a big trauma before. So that transformation was wonderful. I had no hopes actually when I left her there also, I had no hopes that Shona will, will transform like this. Just seeing these animals getting out of their psychological trauma or their physiological conditions and uh, getting back to their natural life in a comfortable facility is kind of uh, an excitement and uh, satisfaction just witnessing how they have progressed and improved over the period. Financial resources are the most difficult uh, aspect of running an organization. Currently, we are uh, self-funded which means that this whole organization run by the personal finances of the three founder members. But we look forward for raising some funds in future to fulfill all the long-term goals that we have. Our job is to make them move around freely, but also ensure that they are safe within the premises. That's what the difference that this organization is making. When they come as members of the organization, we know they are either crippled or disabled. There should be something done differently in this space. So we continuously look forward to upgrade our facilities, either by setting up new structures or bring something very innovative. We make the modifications on a continuous basis, wherever it's necessary. All animals, I think, have a certain language of their own and unfortunately as human beings we have not been able to completely understand an animal's language. On the contrary, I think these animals understand our language. It's more important to just spend more time with them and the more time spent with these animals, the more we tend to understand their requirements. The staff and particularly I should mention have been very compassionate with these animals, very patient to ensure good progress in health. Sometimes there are volunteers coming in, they do spend a lot of time with these animals. Most of them are animals with special needs. The idea is to see that all these animals are given individual attention. We give them the permanent shelter because they cannot be rehabilitated back in their natural habitat. But those that can be, we try and rehabilitate them with a different program altogether. Our idea is to get them out of their past trauma, whether it is physiological or whether it is psychological. Setting up a facility has not been an easy journey and at the same time it has also not been easy witnessing trauma cases. Emotionally it's quite a draining field of work but space and time we try and dedicate more for them and that kind of heals us as well. We also know that we have very limited resources so let's start in a small way. Though we have a long term vision but we felt we should make somewhere a beginning. 
We try and collaborate with like-minded organizations and we try and support them in probably fundraising sometimes or it could be in the form of sponsorship. Joining forces together can make a big difference than one person doing one activity. As we started seeing animals on the road which had to be rescued, someone had to take direct responsibility for these uh, animals. And since 2011 till now, we've rescued about 53 equines. Uh, and, you know, all of them have a different story. How how some of them confiscated, some of them rescued. Uh, me and Mr. Satya, you know, we've been interacting frequently, and then Mr. Satya pledged that you know through his uh, trust, he'll try and raise some donations for some of our. That way, we're very grateful to uh, Mr. Satya and his team. We have come to this planet with some purpose and we are fortunate that we are able to place our life for this particular purpose. We all have to coexist to make this planet survive. Mm -hmm.